Hello and welcome back to another episode of A Game of Thrones Beginner's Guide. In this episode, we want to talk about Season 2. So if you haven't watched Season 1, I should warn you that there are spoilers in this video. Close this video, go and finish Season 1, and then come back. But for the rest of you who have watched Season 1, there's some juicy information in this video. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, allow me to introduce myself to you. My name is Maysam, and I'm a filmmaker at Tromaya Studio. After watching season 1, we all agree to the fact that this show is not kidding. It's so serious and it's different from other TV shows. In this TV show, everything has consequences. And if you make a fatal mistake, you will pay for it. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. So let's go back to the map and have a quick review of what happened in season 1. John Aaron, the Lord of Eerie, was the man who took care of Eddard and Robert when they were young. And after Robert sat on the Iron Throne, John was his hand. After John Aaron finds out the truth about Cersei and Jaime, the Lannisters poison him. And after he dies, Robert travels to north to name his best friend as the new hand of the king. Eddard now has six children. Five of them are with Kathleen Tully and one of them is a bastard. Yours was uh, Alina? No, you, you told me once. Uh, Meryl? Your bastard's mother. Wyla. That's it. That's the reason Kathleen hates him so much. Another young boy you see among the Stark children is Theon Greyjoy. He is son of Baedon Greyjoy, Lord of Iron Islands, who started a rebellion against the throne and was defeated by Eddard and Robert, and had to give up his son, Theon, as a hostage to Eddard Stark. But back to the story, Eddard and Robert travel to King's Landing, and Jon Snow joins the Night's Watch. About Jon and the Night's Watch I will explain at the end of this video. At the same time, across the narrow sea, Viserys sells his sister Daenerys to Khal Drogo in case he can use Khal Drogo's army to attack Westeros. But as you saw, things didn't go as planned and he got murdered with a golden crown on his head. And Daenerys gets pregnant carrying Khal Drogo's son. Ser Jorah Mormont, who's a spy from King's Landing, sends the news to Lord Varys and King Robert commands to kill Daenerys. After that, Eddard finds out the truth about Cersei and Jaime. But before he reveals the truth, Robert dies and Eddard stands against the Lannisters, the most powerful house in the Seven Kingdoms, and gets captive. And his son, Rob Stark, calls for all northern houses to gather an army and attack King's Landing to save his father. And in one of his attacks, he captures Jaime Lannister. And after that, as you saw, Khal Drogo dies, Eddard gets executed and Daenerys gives birth to three dragons. And now for season 2 we have new characters joining the show. Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. Stannis Baratheon, Robert Baratheon's middle brother. He has two advisors, Lady Melisandre, who's a priestess with some magical strange powers, and Ser Davos. And at the end we have Marjorie Tyrell. And at the beginning of season 2 we have Joffrey on the Iron Throne. And we have Stannis in Dragonstone who wants to attack the King's Landing and become the king. We have Renly who's in Storm's End and wants to attack the King's Landing and become the king. And we have Robb Stark from the North who also wants to attack the King's Landing. And we have Daenerys with three dragons in Essos who also wants to attack the King's Landing and become the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Now let's go North and have a little explanation about the Wall and the Night's Watch. There is a giant wall made of ice north of Winterfell, which separates the Seven Kingdoms from the White Things who live beyond the wall. And it's being held by the sworn brothers of the Night's Watch for thousands of years. But now it's not just the Wildlings who live beyond the wall. The White Walkers are back after thousands of years and they are the greatest threat to the Seven Kingdoms. To find out who they are, what they are and where do they come from, you have to watch the rest of the TV show and don't search anything about them because since the show's over, the internet is full of spoilers. So don't, don't search anything about anyone because let's say that you have a crush on Ned Stark, you search his name and you find out that he's gonna die and it ruins the whole TV show for you. So be careful about that. 
that's it for this video if you had any question you can comment down below i'll try to answer you as soon as i can and see you tomorrow